Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new video. If you've seen the title of this video, you have some idea, but basically we weren't able to film a vlog yesterday, so I wanna catch you guys up with what happened and give you all the details. Um, and then today's actual day for us is gonna be traveling back to Manila. So we're leaving Bohol today. Uh, we've had an amazing time here and with Koda and Georgia just inside having some breakfast, so we'll go and catch up with them in a second. But first, I just wanna give you guys a quick rundown of yesterday because it didn't go the way we planned. Everything is absolutely fine. It's nothing major. It's nothing crazy, dramatic or big. It's just like something that we wanted to document because we know we've got a lot of families that are aspiring travelers or want to take big vacations with their families and their young children and I want to be very honest and give you a rundown of sort of what happened um, because I think maybe it could help someone else or um, just to show the real life of what happened for us. So basically a few days ago Koda was pulling on his ear and was saying that it was hurting and often that's like a sign of teething in young children so we just thought he's teething or there's a bit of water in his ear or something he's fine. Um, we were just going to monitor it, but then when I touched his left ear, nothing happened. When I touched his right ear, he'd really cry. His right ear, he'd really cry out in pain. So I was like, hmm, this was like more of a thing. And if I said to him, where does it hurt? He'd point to his right ear all the time, not his left ear. So it wasn't just like one of those things of him just thinking that I'm telling him to point at his own ear. It was like it's definitely hurting. So I spoke to reception here at the hotel, or at Saleya Panglao, and they were great. They basically called the doctor and said, what should we do? Um, they said that we can go to the Rural Health Centre, which is in the middle of Panglao Island, and it's basically like a free government hospital where we would have wanted to have a consultation with the doctor and then to advise us what we need to do. Um, but when we got there, there was a huge queue, loads of children, um, and we didn't want to and we didn't want to sort of just wait there. We thought we'd maybe try an alternative. And um, so we went to another pharmacy, no, to another doctor's, and they only had a doctor available for adults. So they said they couldn't give any information or advice because if they got it wrong, like obviously that's not good on them. So we then had to go to a pharmacy and ask them and they said they can't give any advice because he's one, because he's a child, they can't do that. Basically, if, if this was a problem that I was having, it would have been so much easier to sort out. But because he's a baby, they had to have like a paediatrician to sign off for a prescription for anything. Um, and Coda was fine, like we were just going around in the van and he was fine, he was chirpy enough. It was just when, when occasionally his ear would start to hurt him. They need a prescription because he's a baby. So we have to go to the doctor again. Yeah. Like a doctor. A different doctor without a key, I guess. Okay, cool. So usually the child's doctor, like the paediatrician, doesn't start till 12 noon, it says on the door but they said they're gonna come now. So I think we're waiting for the doctor to arrive. And doctor. Doctor, yeah. Because basically we went to two different places. One was really busy uh, and it would have been like hours of waiting because it was a government hospital. Then we went to a pharmacy. They said because he's a baby, they can't prescribe anything. So now we've come to another doctor's and they need to, if, if he needs something, we, he might not, it might be something that we can just wait for, but he, he's in pain so we wanna try and see if it's something we don't have to wait out. Um, so if he does need some medicine, they can prescribe it, then we can go back to the pharmacy or maybe they have it here because they've got like a little pharmacy on site. So, slightly long-winded, slightly long process, but I think we're getting somewhere. Um, and I put all these like details down on a patient form. Um, I don't know how much it costs yet either. So we'll see, but yeah. Bikes. So then finally we agreed to have a doctor, the doctor of the resort, sort of their connection somehow. Um, he agreed to come from Tagbilaran City to Panglao Island to come and see Koda in our room, which was really helpful. And there was like a call out fee of 2,500 pesos for that, um, which is I think fairly reasonable considering it's a half an hour journey out of his day and half an hour back. And obviously it's like a private appointment. So we had that, he had a look in his ear with a camera, very high tech, put a camera in his ear. We could see on a little monitor that there was no water, there was no information, no redness, but he's prescribed some drops for Koda. And then he had to call ahead to the pharmacy we were gonna to go to because we're staying on a small island. Basically, if he'd prescribed, say, drug A, medicine A, 
and we went there with can we have medicine A? They said, oh no, we haven't got A, we've got B. If the prescription said A on it, we wouldn't have been able to have B, even though it's the same kind of thing, like what brand they had available. So he called ahead, asked which one was available. We went to that pharmacy. Uh, I went in, it cost 220 pesos or something for these little drops. We've got them for the next five days just to um, to ease any sort of pain he's been having and we're going to give him some like um, mild painkillers like paracetamol, ibuprofen, as and when. Um, so yeah, absolutely fine, all sorted, but it was just interesting to have an insight into that because we're so used to <clears throat> travelling around these beautiful hotels and these resorts and seeing all these amazing things all the time, but the reality is people get sick, children get sick and things happen where you have to like visit doctors and hospitals and stuff that you probably wouldn't expect to. So even though we are on a little island, we're in Panglao Island and things are done differently because obviously things are low in stock. Like even when I was waiting in the pharmacy, there was so many people that had prescriptions that were being turned away because they were out of stock. So it's definitely not the like big city life that you're that we're used to in Manila or even back in England it's kind of unusual for things to be out of stock or if it's out of stock you just go around the corner to another pharmacy so it's definitely more sort of rural here I suppose and we sort of had to figure that out it's, but we were back, basically were out most of the day visiting different doctors and pharmacies and things and um, it wasn't the day we planned but if Coda's now got these drops in his ear it's going to be better oh I haven't even given you the reason we think it's because he was in the pool for like six hours a day for the last two weeks and maybe there's um, some sort of irritation from that um, and he's been he putting his head underwater a lot and like splashing around maybe there's some water in there he didn't come up on the camera but basically we're, we think it's because of how much he's been swimming so we're obviously going to keep an eye on it make sure his head doesn't go under anymore um, for a little while until we've at least finished the little course of drops um, but yeah everything's good everything's fine and if you are traveling with kids then often like the resort will help you we had a really lovely lady here that actually came with us in the van to help with um, speaking to the doctors and the pharmacists and anyone we spoke to she basically helped us because we only speak English and I know that people here also speak English but it's just easier when it's in the local dialect to actually get across what you're trying to get across so yeah all good very helpful here at the hotel and Coda is looking very happy this morning so um, all okay and I just wanted to start the vlog with that I didn't want you to see the title and think something bad's happened I wanted to get straight to the point because um, yeah he's all good everything's fine we're very grateful for the service we had here and for the doctor that came to see us and now that he's going to be all good so let's head back inside for breakfast and we'll see Koda and George good morning guys just at the hotel buffet we check out today I don't know if Lucy mentioned that very sad to be leaving the hall and leaving island life for a little leaving while. island life back to Manila today yeah but there is of course time for breakfast We've got some coffee on the go. Gonna load up on my usual four eggs. Currently watching videos of Coda's family back home because we're away for quite a long period of time. Yeah. We wanna keep up going through like every family member, watching little videos, looking at pictures. We've been doing FaceTimes and video calls as we've been going around, which has been nice, hasn't it? He just loves it. Top tip to anyone traveling as well with kids, or well, actually to anyone baby vitamins get the drop version that don't need to be refrigerated because often you get a liquid that has to be refrigerated thank you codes that's that's the microphone and if you get the drops obviously you don't you don't you can't carry a fridge around with you when you travel and then I just get coded some porridge in the morning to some like oatmeal and milk and just add the drops into that so you can't really taste it too much because not the nicest flavor but it's good for him so yeah he's gonna have like a breakfast and then we always finish it with a bowl of porridge What did he do yesterday? Next door's doorbell. Yeah, and they came out. They came out. They looked like they'd maybe been napping and we woke, we woke them up. Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, checkout time. Leaving this lovely hotel, leaving beautiful Bahol, off to the airport. Bye bye. Thank you, have a good day. Thank you.
All right, so the only thing they have really at Panglao Airport is air conditioning, which I'm grateful for, but that is literally all they have. There are not too many options for food and coffee or anything like that once you get through the gate. So um, quite happy. We're thinking of maybe picking up wildflower tonight in Manila, having a little bit of uh, Manila comforts. We haven't had wildflower yet. Maybe get the burger there later on. I don't know, stay tuned, see what we get up to, but I am starting to think about food already. But about to board the flight, we'll see you on board. Just a little Coda update today, because I'm sure a lot of you are wondering after the kind of topic of this video. He's doing really well. He, we gave him some more of his eardrops this morning. I don't know why I chose to speak while they're speaking. One second. Okay, yeah, he um, he hasn't been complaining about, he hasn't been pulling his ear. So hopefully, he's, I mean, he seems way more chirpier, way more himself, eating his breakfast like normal, a um, lot less fussy. So I think progress is being made. A little bit of chaos going on at the airport. Hello, mate. What is it? What's this? Panda coco. Yummy, can you hold it? moving on again so we're not here for very long again but yeah looking forward to getting back to our old home home not in a hotel basically uh, we can cook some meals again and enjoy a bit of our own space which will be really nice we have loved the island hotel hopping life for the last couple of weeks it's been absolutely incredible uh, but this trip is far from over we've got loads more planned it's just the next leg that's just started Okay, Manila Airport, we are home. Feels like, feels like saying we're, we're home. Because every time we used to go on trips, this was like coming back home. So it's landing in Manila still feels like coming home to me. Um, yeah, and obviously we're going to our, back to our own place. So that is our home, one of our homes. We are being picked up in our Mitsubishi from Gateway Motors Group, who have kindly lent us a vehicle for our trip. You may have seen in the videos before we left when we were Wow, it's loud today, very loud. The guys at Gateway Motors Group have been very, very good to us. They've actually, they're actually bringing the car to us, driving us to the condo and then leaving the car again for us. Um, so just incredible, huge thanks to those guys. The car's been excellent. Looking forward to getting back into my little routine. I'm gonna stop vlogging because it's so loud, but uh, we'll see you back in the condo. A mini food shop just to see us through so i've got some new some fruit and stuff for coda and i and george some eggs for tomorrow morning got some steaks so we can have steak and eggs for breakfast 
Cody even picked out a new toothbrush. He went for the purple and thin. Brilliant. It's all bent. It's like a bad one. It was already, you no, know, like the bristles are bent. Yeah, so nice little reset. I'm getting my nails done tonight at a salon at McKinney. Whoa, look at the sky, it's gone pink. There was a crazy thunderstorm when we, were, when we landed in Manila. Like loads of rain, thunder and lightning. Um, so crazy welcome back. Getting my nails done tonight. Um, we're not gymming tonight in either of us. So George, I think might do some editing or something. We're gonna get coded to bed soon. And yeah, it just feels like a nice reset back in Manila. Manila so different to island life, but we love both for different reasons. And it's nice like chopping and changing between. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly show you the sky. Okay guys, oh, I'm so tired. Just wanted to give a little update whilst Lucy's gone out for a nail appointment. My hair is getting long, man. My hair is getting super long. Just wanted to quickly come on here and just say how much I'm loving this trip, how much I'm loving Project Roy. A whole trip out of Manila just now went in the blink of an eye. The whole trip is going so fast. But at the same time, it feels like Dubai, for example. If you didn't see the first couple of, first few vlogs, we actually went from London to Dubai. We stayed in Dubai for a few days. We we're filming every day there. We've been filming every day now for <laughs> weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, which is, I don't know, I love it. I do love it. It's hard, but I love it. It's one of those things. It's like a challenge. It, I think when you're a vlogger, it, daily vlogging especially, it's a challenge to yourself. It's, it keeps you creative. It keeps you in a routine. It keeps you accountable to yourself to, be doing something, to be making something, to be, I don't know, making memories. Oh, the trip has been awesome. Lucy has just texted me to say that the burgers are on the way. We've ordered burgers, by the way, from Wildflower, and she is about to come back up with them. She's been to her nail appointment. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's only 7.50 p.m., but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be burgers and then bed. We keep having these ideas to like have a little movie night or watch something together or put some Netflix on. We just haven't. This whole trip, we haven't watched a single film, single YouTube video, other than our own vlogs, watching them back before they go online. Um, Cause we've just been like in the routine, you wake up, sort Coda out breakfast, start filming the vlog, uh, get some editing done in the day, get our emails done, etc. Go and see something travel like actual travel airports buses vans boats go and see something cool go and eat some amazing food go to the beach sunset swim dinner come back load clips for the vlogs for that day go to bed wake up go again so there's been like no time i would really love lucy and i just to take like i don't know take an hour and just watch a film or something in the evenings but i think i'm going to choose sleep tonight <laughs> hungry for food. I was on Food Panda looking for dessert while <laughs> waiting for this. <laughs> Wildflower burger. All I've eaten today is a smoothie bowl which is just fruit and it's seven o'clock or eight o'clock, whatever it is. Mm. Uh oh, spillage. Oh dear, as Coda <laughs> would say. Is that yours? I'm not sure if it's something in that. Is that the double? Yeah, double. Mm. Let's see your nails quickly. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, guys, as I said, we're going to tuck in and go to bed. So we'll see you in the next vlog very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye.